Perfect, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this session about the importance of diversity in leadership. And then uh, later on, we're gonna talk about equity versus equality. This is presented by no other than me. And you're like, who are you? My name is Natoya Williams, and I am excited to be here with you today. So I did want to introduce myself formally because um, a lot of you guys are probably like, we've never seen you before. And that's cool. That's okay. We can still be friends, right? It's always great to make new friends. Um, here's a little bit about me. That's me. I am a proud graduate of Florida A&M University. I have a degree in business administration from there. I went on to do my master's at um, Argosy University in Tampa, where I have a master's of business administration. Um, I worked in corporate America for over 15 years until I was free. I became free and became a full-time entrepreneur. So that is what I am excited about. Um, just a little bit more about me. As an entrepreneur, there are a few things that I do, right? A woman of many talents, I'd like to say. I am a transformational speaker, which is what I'm doing here for you today. I am a business consultant. I do assist um, entrepreneurs on how to start their business and um, set them up properly from the beginning because how you start is how you finish and you wanna do a good job prepping yourself um, at the front end. I am also an entrepreneurship coach, which goes into my business consulting, um, kind of guiding people along the way to the path of entrepreneurship based on my experience and how I was able to do it. And then I've been a real estate broker for the past 15 years in this crazy real estate market. Um, so that's a little bit about my background. Um, personally, I've been married for 15 years. My husband also graduated from Florida A&M University. So I am excited that um, I was able to marry a Rattler, you know, and um, I have another job. My most important job is being a mom to my 12 year old son and my nine year old little girl. Best title ever favorite job of my life. So that's a little bit about me. You guys can ask questions about me in the chat. Um, don't be shady. No, I'm kidding. Um, that's for all you Wildcats and Bethune uh, graduates. But listen, if you want to know more about me, all my socials and my website are at the end of the presentation, okay? But let's get into it because I don't have a church. Basically, you got a church. What? Um, I'm going to try charging. Okay, I'm going to have to to mute, please, please, no, no, please mute yourself. How long is it take? How long is it gonna take? I'm just gonna wait a few seconds for you to do it. We're gonna wait, Sarah? yes. That changes a lot of work. Oh, okay, well then y'all gotta do it. Um, Cause I gotta get ready for work on Monday. Oh. Uh, so why don't you just- I'm gonna mute all, okay. and then, and then, and then like, you- um, Well, actually no, cause you can't start until after three. Then you mute, your, you unmute yourself. Okay, unmute yourself, Miss Natoya. Natoya? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, awesome. All right, sorry for the little hiccup. We're just going to keep going right along. Um, so that's information about me. Uh, let's get into what we're here for, right? Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> talk about diversity. What is diversity? Um, you guys can put in the chat just so we can keep going because I do like an interactive presentation. Okay, I'm not a teacher, but I need to know that you're listening and you can hear me and I want to hear what you have to say too. So go ahead and put in the chat. Let me know what you think diversity is. I know it sounds pretty simple, but it's only simple to the people that know, right? Because you don't know what you don't know. So um, I'm gonna play just a very brief video here about what diversity is, okay? And so like I said, it seems
Okay. So that was just a brief um, video on what diversity is. Everyone's probably going to have different definitions because it's really tailored to who you are, right? I feel like I'm diverse. I'm a black female, right? And other, um, other people may think they're diverse for different reasons and different um, attributes that they have. Um, but basically, very simply, diversity represents all the ways that we are different. It really includes knowing how to relate the qualities and conditions that are different from our own. And just appreciating differences as a totality, right? Um, it's any dimension that can, that can be used to differentiate groups and people one from another. So obviously I'm a black woman, diversity is understanding the other races and other sexes, okay? This is particularly, um, that's diversity opposed to what I am because like I said, who I am and what diversity looks like to me may be different to other groups, other ex ethnicities, ethnicities, excuse me, and other genders. And the concept of diversity really encompasses acceptance and respect for all people. So what is diversity? It's basically being human. All right, so let's go ahead and list descriptors which you might may identify with. There's quite a few of you in here. I certainly wish I can talk to you all, but you can go ahead in the chat and put descriptors of how you identify you. Um, I'll go back to me, right? So I am a black female, major, ma majorly American, uh, my, my parents are immigrants, so I'm immigrant made, but whatever composes who you are, those are what you call descriptors, and that's what you identify with. So we, we have several, I mean, there's only five circles here, but we can go on and on and on defining who we think, who we are as far as diversity is confirmed. Now, there are two different types of diversity dimensions. The first one is primary, and those are like the very simple ones, right? The really obvious ones, the things that you can see with your eyes. And then we have secondary. So the purple words identify primary, age, gender, sexual orientation, disability, ethnic heritage, and race. These are things that we can see. Those are physical. But what you can't see are the secondary um, dimensions, which include geographic location. Where are you from? Do you have military experience? What type of work background do you have? Your social and economic status. That's what the um, presenter spoke about earlier regarding the differences, right? And um, races and different time frames, right? So different different centuries of how different races were treated. Those are socioeconomical statuses. Um, what religion you claim and believe, your first language, organizational role and your level, all of these in the yellow are what you gain through life experiences. And those are really the second dimensions of di secondary dimensions of diversity, okay? And so just take a brief look at this because this is very important when we have to work with others. You're not always going to work with people who look, think, breathe, and are from where you're from, right? So we have to have an open mind because diversity definitely matters. And now I speak really fast. So um, that's my West Indian background, right? And I speak with my hands, but just let me know in the chat if I need to slow down a little bit because listen, I'm open to criticism, right? Um, and then let me know if I'm like at a good pace, okay? Because I wanna be able to get through everything that I prepared for you because I'm super excited, right? Um, so diversity is really the mix. When we think about diversity, I'm going to explain it to um, you how I would explain it to children, right? Because I don't want to be naive and think and assume everyone just knows and gets what diversity is. So if you look at the way a cake is made, you have multiple different uh, ingredients. But then look at the ingredients. These ingredients by themselves may not taste so good. If you eat plain flour, it's gross right? Bacon soda tastes nasty. Bacon powder also tastes awful. Um, I don't eat or I don't drink milk, but if you drink milk, um, different coffees, 
walnuts, all of these things may not taste good individually. And that's what diversity is, just realizing that we're different. We're not all the same. And once we become more self-aware of who we are, we can start to understand right, how other people are as well and that they're different. So this is the diversity mix in layman's turn. It's ingredients. And like I said, ingredients necessarily do not taste good by themselves. Inclusion is making the mix work, right? And that's where you get something really tasty, right? You have to work at it. You got to mix it all together in a bowl. You got to put it in an oven, make sure you have it at the right temperature. And that's when inclusion will happen. So diversity, you have to really understand the differences. And inclusion is making, is mixing the divert, excuse me, is the diversity mixed up together and it comes out with something tasty. I don't know about you guys, but I like cake and that cake looks good. So what do we mean by inclusion, organizational inclusion? What does that mean? And what does it look like, right? So, uh oh, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Okay, there we go, I need to be able to see. So what does inclusion look like? First of all, it's the equity of practices, extending to which the organization provides fair and equitable treatment to all employees and groups. So that means everyone gets fair treatment, fair exposure, and um, all of the playing field typically is leveled, right? The organizational culture, that is the extent to which the culture avoids assimilation assimilationist strategies, and it's open to different learning and non-traditional sources, specifically in this time and age, because we have a generation behind us, the younger people, they are totally different than anything anyone has ever seen. And I know, I'm pretty sure all the older people before us said that about our generation, but we have to be sensitive towards that, um, especially, you know, when you're running an organization and when you're talking about diversity in leadership. And finally, voice and participation, the extent to which the organization really draws upon diverse sources of knowledge and experience for planning and operations. So everyone has a say, right? If you have an opinion, we wanna hear about it. If you over there have an opinion, let us know, tell us. And these are how the voices and participations of the employees help to build a diverse leadership. And that's why it's helpful to have diverse leadership. How do we respond to differences in the workplace? Now, there's multiple different ways. Not all of them are correct, but this is why we're here speaking about it, right? We wanna know, we wanna know, we wanna know, and I'm here to share that information because guess what? Sharing is caring, right? So let's go through it. There are different ways to respond and some of them are incorrect, flat out, right? There's wrong thing, there's wrong ways to do everything. And let's just talk about it positively. I'll embrace this challenge. Now, the, typically that's the best way to do it, but we all know that's not all hap what happens all the time. And that's fine because we're here to learn. Negatively, I'll resist this. No one can force me. Just different ways people respond indifferently. Whatever, no skin off my nose. I treat everyone the same. And hopefully those two last two people, um, types of people, <laughs> if you respond like that, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here so we can teach you a thing or two and just ultimately learn together, right? Um, proactively, I need to learn about this before I encounter it firsthand. That's why I'm here. I want to talk about it with you before you encounter it. And then finally, reactively, uh-oh, what should I do? We want to try to avoid that as well. So the negatively and indifferently responses is why we need to be proactive. So we can avoid those type of responses, right? It all goes together, just like the cake. Um, <laughs> so these are just different ways people respond in the workforce. And like I said, um, all of them are not gonna be positive, but you know, once you know where you stand, we can see what we need to do to bridge the gap on where, we need, where you need to be, okay? Let's move on. Ultimately, diversity equals positivity. Point blank period. It is what it is. The more diverse, the more understanding we are of diversity, the more we'll be able to accept others and their differences. It, that's just the way it works. Um, very simply stated, our, work, our workforce diversity is positively associated with higher business performance outcome measures. This is important to leaders. 
Who doesn't want higher business performance? Okay, this is why it's so important to have these conversations and be proactive in your diversity approach. Racial diversity is positive is positively, excuse me, associated with higher performance of organizations that integrate and leverage diverse perspectives perspectives as a resource for product delivery. So we can, we, we can make our business grow. And it's not even all about advertisement or other ways to grow your business. You can literally have diverse leadership and your business will bloom. It'll do much better than it did before. And lastly, gender diversity is positively associated with more effective group processes and performance in organization with people-oriented performance cultures. What does that mean? That's a lot of words in the toy. I don't know what you just said. Well, basically, hire more women. No, I'm kidding. But I'm not, right? I'm not. A diverse organization includes um, a diverse genders. And, and women are awesome. I'm not just saying that because I am a woman, a woman, a woman. <laughs> But I mean that if we have more um, diverse leaderships as far as gender is concerned, you can really touch more people. You can reach more aspects of who it is that you're speaking with and how you serve your customer or your client, right? So in conclusion, regarding diversity and positivity, it enhances performance, but it requires attention. And back to that last slide, we need to be very proactive. Any questions about diversity, go ahead and put it in the chat. I'm gonna see if I can see the chat real quick. I am sharing my screen, so um, I don't wanna mess anything up because I don't want Miss Mary to yell at me. <laughs> but I think I think we're doing okay. Uh, Miss Mary, really quickly, are there any questions in the chat thus far? Uh, not yet. Okay, good. You guys can put questions in the chat and we'll we'll recap them later. Miss Mary's here to help me. I'm so grateful there's, for her. There's one, well, there's one that says I have a little bit of a shady question. Uh -oh. And there's a one uh, uh Victoria, we did we did not get to see the little video at the beginning. We did see the link, but not the actual video. And I could hear something, but I didn't see the actual video. Yes. So there's quite a few people that said they did not. But what is your question, Miss Lisa? Do you see it, Natoya? So administrative mm -hmm. leadership is supposed to reflect di the diversity of the students. Most teachers are women. How does this practice actually limit diversity? So let me understand the question. So diversity and leadership, as far as teachers are concerned, they're saying is mostly women, women, excuse me. Right. And so they're saying, how is that diverse? Is that the question? How does this practice actually limit diversity? Well, here's the thing. We got to get male teachers to apply for te male males men to apply for a teaching position so we can have more males. And this is part of having a diverse leadership because then they can go out and recruit specifically for men to become teachers and ultimately diversify the workforce, right? That is the answer. So I understand there's a large portion of teachers who are women, that is correct. But that's why it is important to have diversity in leadership so they can see that gap and bridge it by recruiting for more male teachers. I hope that answered your question. Any other questions, Ms. Mary? Okay. Okay, uh, and then Lisa says, men who go into leadership are more likely to get picked up. But in all, the years that there has been more leadership, male leadership, have more men become teachers. Now, was that a in all the years that has been more that there has been more male leadership have more men become teachers that sounds like a broward public school specific question <laughs> right so i'm gonna leave that one all the way alone because i don't have enough data to answer that question for you okay one last question miss mary if there are any uh, not yet. Okay. okay. 
Administrative leadership should represent the school's demographics. So that's a statement. Okay. And I think that you can elaborate on that. I definitely agree. And um, the, the, not only should the school, right, represent the demographics of where the school is located, but also the district, and then people over the district, right, and then the state, and then, you know, the USA. So when we start at home, it can trickle up to assimilate into bigger organizations. So I definitely agree with that. Thank you so much for your questions. I'm so upset I wasn't there to be able, able to be there with you personally, but this is working out just fine because I have Miss Mary. Thank you, Miss Mary. <laughs> right, let's move on. Let's move on. Listen, Miss Mary, you're going to get all this credit, okay? Because I'm not going to sit here and act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, let's No move. problem. The benefits of, a diver of workforce diversity, right? Improved understanding of those who work for, with, and around you. Just knowing who you're working with and understanding the differences. Create a work environment that allows everyone to reach their full potential. These are just some benefits. These are just benefits. They naturally come. Provide multiple perspectives on problem solving. Now, that's not saying you have to agree with everyone. This is not about agreements. It's about acceptance and understanding. Just people are different. There's different ways of thinking. It's based on socioeconomical background, the way you were brought up, the way you were raised. People are just different. And the more that we understand that as a totality, the more diverse we'll be. Because then we'll understand that everybody thinks, acts, walks, talks like us, right? Um, another benefit is better performance outcomes and reduce complaints and grievances. And that's important to leadership because um, what did the lady say a few years ago on the on the um on the internet as the older people would say, ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody wants to hear their workforce com continually complaining and so this is why it starts inside. You have to understand people are different. And if you understand the differences, it is what it is, and you move on. There's no need to complain. There's no need to grieve, to have grievances. It just is what it is. It's something we have to live with because we're all human. Another benefit, it increases employee productivity and retention rates. It boosts employee morale and improves customer relations and client relations. And in this case, we're talking about students. And the youth are very important because guess what? They're going to be the ones taking care of us when we get older. And lastly, it's just the right thing to do. It is just the right thing to do. When you think of diversity, equate it to humanity. It is what it is. We're not out here to change anyone, but let's just accept who they want to be, right? Even if it's not what you agree with, that's who they are. Now we're going to talk about equality versus equity. And actually, what is the difference? Now, I have another video. Miss Mary, what do you think I should do to make sure everyone sees it? Because I thought I was sharing my screen. Okay, just, just try it again, uh, Latoya, and we, we'll see how it works. Okay, I worked hard on this, you guys, so I want to be able to give you all these visuals, right? But if it doesn't work, the Lord did not see it fit. But let's just keep <laughs> All right, so, you know, as you'll see, the previous slide says diversity matters. And so now my slide says equity matters because that does too, right? Um, I'm not going to go through this all, but it's very important. Just glance over it. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to glance over it, right? The meaning of equity and equality, because we need to understand they're not the same. They're just not. They're different. Equity is the means to, or excuse me, equality. Yes, equity is the means to get, obtain equality. We have to ha have equal, um, we have to, okay, so here I am getting tongue twisted with equality and, <laughs> and equity, right? So let me slow down, take a deep breath. You have to have equity to obtain equality, right? And I'm not gonna promise that's not gonna happen again, but because those words are very similar, so I will get tongue tied. But basically this chart just represents the differences. Um, equity is the means, equality is the result that we're looking for, right? It recon uh, Equity recognizes differences and equality gives samenesses, right? Um, it ensures that people have what they need, that's equity and equality is providing everyone the same things. Now, here is where my video goes. So let me see if we can make this work. Uh, 
Okay. Can we see that? Miss Mary, can everyone see that? I see you, but I don't think we see your My video. Screen. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Wait a minute now. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Just stick with me a little bit. Let's try this again. That now? Okay, I don't think I did that right because it didn't ask me to. Um, okay. All right, guys, we're going to try this one more time. And if not, like I said, the good Lord did not see it fit. So we'll <laughs> just move on. Okay, share. Okay, so you guys see that. Okay. I promise it's a good video. It's worth the wait. I hope you think so too, but we'll see what happens, right? Okay. All right, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Yay! Not sure if your sound is up, Victoria. You see the video, but not the sound. Okay, I'm unmuted. I turned my volume all the way up. Um, did, did you check your sound through? Um, click more and click sound. Can you hear so it? We still can't, only a little. So we, we can't. Did you click more and then hit uh, share sound? Yes, but you, okay, hold on. Let me try that. But I was just about to say no worries because okay. I think. No problem. But you do have to, you know, Zoom has to share your sound. Okay, let's go back out. Because I do have, here we go. So, so I'm sharing video. And where do I go to share the sound? Or we'll just keep going. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going because that did not work how I wanted it to work, but everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're not gonna worry about it. If you go into the chat or um, go on my website, put your email in and I'll send you the videos. How about that? We'll just keep moving on, right? But basically the video was just a visual of how equity is very different from equality. So let's go over equality. All three, people are standing on the same size box. But as you can see, the fence is, 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 is the same height and the people aren't the same height. So they have equality based on the 
boxes that they've been given. So equality is the sameness. It promotes fairness and justice by giving everyone the same thing. But it can only work if it starts from the same place. So in this example, equity only works if everyone is the same height. And you can clearly see that um, the boxes are the same, but people are different. These three people are different in height. Now let's talk about equality, or excuse me, equity. Equity is really about fairness. It's about making sure you get people what they need to have the same opportunities. So here in the picture, you can see in the equity picture, the three boxes, they're being used differently. And then everyone has the same view because they were different heights. So sometimes our differences in our history can create barriers to participation. So we must first ensure equity before we can enjoy equality. I see you guys are blowing up the chat. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me, Miss Mary? Yes, there just uh, some people are leaving their email addresses for you to send uh, information to them, videos to them. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank hey. you. I'm blowing up. I got nervous. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll just keep going. So, how do you ensure equity in the workspace? Let's talk about it. When less privileged people are armed with resources that gives them the same opportunities as their peers, fairness is achieved. In other words, equity, or excuse me, equality is the end goal and equity is the means on how to get there. Just like the three boxes, right? In the previous slide, each person had a box, but not all of them needed it. And so equity was when each person got the box that they need and one person didn't need a box. So that's how we get there. That's the vehicle, equality. Okay. Uh-oh, okay, there we go. And there are choices, right? Choices require more intentional thinking like the list below. As far as leadership and diversity is concerned, let's ensure we have interview panels that are diverse. You want to have a work, if you want to have a diverse workforce, you have to have people who are diverse interviewing potential employees to extend that diversity to what they may have experienced as far as they're concerned to others. So these, these are the reasons why we uh, want to be more intentional about um, thinking how we get there, um, providing accessible workspaces, and then eliminating discriminatory handbook languages. That's all on the leadership level. An environment that creates equal access and opportunities for all. That is how you ensure equity. Now here's, here's what we're gonna do to make sure we get there, right? We're gonna take the following actions. We're gonna establish high level diversity and inclusion initiatives. That includes creating an action plan to achieve them and considering hiring or designated a point person for this role. Broward County Public School has done an excellent job with diversity. They have a whole department for inclusion, equity, and diversity. And if other leaders would do that, um, their businesses would perform at a higher at a higher rate, and also, you know, we would give others opportunities that may not have received them before, just by being diverse. Um, create employee resource groups that allow employees to connect and share experience with their coworkers. Um, you know, nowadays everyone is so judgy, but let's just be open minded when we talk to other people. That's really what's going to create um, equity and diversity. Um, include a salary range on all public job posting. You want to see what you're applying for and not just tell some of the candidates and maybe not the others. And so when you include the salary, it's full disclosure, right? And that means everybody has the same information. Um, we want to ensure that company benefits are equitable. Um, for example, do the parents have enough flexibility to reasonably perform their job well if they have kids, opposed to people who do not have children? Um, that is a big topic nowadays, you know, especially working from home. Do we provide enough flexibility? Um, we want to offer accommodations for employees with disabilities language barriers, and mental health needs. Um, living in South Florida is like living in no other place. I was born up north in Boston, Massachusetts. My background, my parents are, Im are immigrants from the West Indies. But um, here in South Florida, it's literally a melting pot. 
It's literally a melting pot. You have people who only speak Spanish, only speak Haitian Creole, French. Then you have the Canadians that come down. So, you know, understanding and accommodating different employees who, are, who may even have language barriers, that's huge, specifically in this marketplace. And lastly, training hiring managers on equitable candidate evaluations and ensuring said managers are diverse in gender and race. Lastly, the value of equity. Companies who value equity, and, I, and I've, I know it seems like I'm repeating myself, but this is really what it is. It's really the truth. Companies who value equity and diversity will attract more talent, retain employees longer. They will employ a more diverse workforce, implement equitable practices that will ensure a strong future for the company. These are what our leaders, this is what we need our leaders to do. And like I said, with Broward Public Schools, they're doing an amazing job. Um, and lastly, move the needle towards workplace equity for all. That is the ultimate goal. Um, I think I'm almost out of time. So I do want to just open it up for a little bit more questions and be respectful. What other questions do we have? Oops. Wait a minute, that was, okay, there we go. Um, so Ms. Mary, you can help me with this, please. Are there any questions in the chat? Um, anything anyone wants to talk about? We have like a few more minutes. I think I sucked up all the time trying to show you guys videos. <laughs> if anyone wants to speak, they can just simply unmute themselves and ask the question verbally. That sounds good too. Or, yes, or they can type it in the, uh, it says, you can, can, can can I share the you? Can you share the YouTube link? Yeah. Can she share the YouTube link? They they found it. <laughs> oh, so, they found it. Yeah. Well, go ahead. They found the YouTube link. Go ahead, you techies. I was like, well, I'll send it to you. I don't know how to share it right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We could. We can also send it. Yeah, we can. Thank you, Reisha. And like I said before, if you go to my website, um um and go ahead and put in your email i'll send it to you as well um are there any more questions so i can give them the website i guess they don't even have it yet i didn't even think about that go ahead and give us your website okay well before i give you all the ways you can contact me and keep up with me i just want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this information uh, while, while while i was building this presentation i was able to learn a lot as well and i'll be honest with you in today's climate we need to to react slower just really understand and listen to what others are saying and just any differences that we have they can be just de-escalated i don't care what it's about except my kids i don't play about my kids no i'm kidding but i'm not um but these are the re this is how diversity comes into play when we really just try to understand what that people are different everyone does not think or act like us and we appreciate those differences so really i do want to thank you it looks like there's 40 of you guys in here i didn't see that many people registered but i thank you for swinging by and i am so grateful to you so thank you so much for coming spending some time with me uh, with all the glitches that we had with the videos i hope you learned something and you thought the presentation was as amazing as i am <laughs> So let's get to it, right? How can you connect with Natoya? Let's see who she is. Find out all about her. Here are my social links. I want you to feel free to drop me a line, send me a DM. What do they say? Uh, I'm not even that old, but um, it goes down in the DM. Write me a DM. Let me know. So I have my Instagram. It's at entrepreneurship expert. That is basically where I help people become entrepreneurs. But first, you have to be able to know what you're doing and become an expert to make sure you can succeed as an entrepreneur, whatever business or products or services you're selling, make sure you're expert at it. I have my LinkedIn profile, Natoya Knights hyphen Williams, just because some people may have known me before I was married. So I kept my um, maiden name there. My Facebook is um, geared to my real estate. I've been a real estate broker for 15 years, as I stated before, and it's at real estate by NKW, NKW. That's me, Natoya Knights Williams. And then finally, my website, www. I know we don't say that no more, but www.natoya Knights is plural. And guess what? So is Williams. So I have two 
plural last names. Yes, I get it. I hear about it all the time. And that's the only reason I know because I didn't even think about it. But that's my website, Natoya Knights Williams.com. So let's connect. You need a house. You want to talk about some things. You need a speaker. You want to see this presentation other places. These are the ways that you can connect and follow me and stay in tune with what I am doing. So listen, thank you so much for coming. I wish I can see all your faces. Let me see how many of y'all got your camera on so I can say hi. Victoria, do you have time to answer one question? When it comes to academic equity, how can we achieve academic success? Okay, so when it comes to academic equity, how can we achieve success? Academic success. So we're talking about students here. I don't want to assume what the question is. That's, that's, that's all he has here. Daniel, do you need to clarify? Tell Daniel to send me a DM. <laughs> or, <laughs> so he can identify his questions because this is a Broward public school platform so I do not want to give misinformation and I would really like to understand the, what you're asking right so we can talk about it so if you reach me on one of my platforms Instagram LinkedIn Facebook or my website um Danielle I'll be more than happy to talk to you I think my time is almost up but I want to say hi to some of you guys so let me look let me look let me look who's there I see you Miss Mary hi Miss Mary um let's Hi, Amazon. I want to say hi. I want to say hi. Um, nobody wants to say hi. Um, did I miss people? Okay, they're like, no, Natalia, we don't want to turn on cameras on. We look a mess. We're at home. We're just here so we won't get fined. Um, let's see. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong, which is a high possibility. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, Larry, you look beautiful. Hi, Jackie. Or is that a still figure? Oh, hey, Jackie, girl. I thought you were still. Now, I don't know what your name is. I see a bunch of emojis, I think. F-L. Oh, Jackie Bell. Oh, no. Okay. So I see Gladys. Thank you guys for coming off camera and showing me that you're real people. I felt like I was talking to myself. Who else is in here? Take your cameras off. Or on. Excuse me. Turn your cameras on. Hi, Samantha. While, while you're speaking, Natoya, while you're greeting people, just a reminder that lunch is from 12 to 1 p.m. Oh, and we'll see you back. Oh, hi, Bruce. I see you, Bruce. Hey, there. 